या सो जस्ट आई वॉट टू थिंक अबाउट सेंस यू सेट की इफ द पीपल आर नॉट कंज्यूमिंग विद द इज कंपनीज हु आर प्रोड्यूसिंग इट दे विल शिफ्ट देयर बेस सो आई ऑलरेडी ऑलवेज हैव दिस क्यूरियोसिटी रिगार्डिंग दोज मॉक मीट प्रोडक्ट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हैविंग अ मॉक मीट और ये दोज थिंग्स कि वाई शुड देयर लाइक पीपल आर लाइक ट्राइंग टू मॉक समथिंग लाइक दैट मीट uh rather than just having something a new product or somewhat like that uh or is it because like ki some company who just want to mono have a monopoly or capitalize on this fact like some people are turning vegan because they think veganism is so called cool so they want to give them some product regarding that so just that i want always okay. had a curiosity sure about. i'll answer both your questions first question was why even in the first place do we have yes. these kind of products uh. you have to understand that we vegans are not against taste we are against animal cruelty okay first of all have you ever eaten meat in your life yes you have eaten meat you agree it's delicious ah uh, yes i agree too i'm a vegan for 10 plus years meat mm. tastes amazing now i love the taste it's just that i will no longer go to the lengths of horribly torturing and killing someone to get that taste what if i can get that same similar taste or something just 80% of that taste without having to take part in that violence why not so that's my whole point we vegans are not against taste or fun it's not something like we ask people to become saints you know just give up everything and just eat no no you can eat so much different kinds of food as a vegan and mock meat is just an option and you don't have to eat mock meat to be a vegan you can be a vegan who does not eat mock meat you can also be a vegan who eats mock meat the idea again here is to reduce and end animal suffering and exploitation and if this is a tool that can help people switch over to being vegan it's a wonderful tool because at the end of the day if someone chooses now to now start buying only mock meat instead of chicken or mutton or whatever less animals are suffering so it's a win for the animals you get my point yes. so it is only done from the animals perspective now regarding the second thing you mentioned i'll have to speak on that and give a more detailed understanding because you mentioned how many are having the presumption that maybe all this veganism funda and all this activism is done to start this new market and get them more customers and destroy the current ones that exist in india you have to understand that currently the way in which the economy the world over is structured is that people who have money very rich people can either choose to start their own business or invest in businesses that already exist two options they have now veganism is up and coming and many of these people who are millionaires and billionaires are noticing that many new vegan brands are coming and what if tomorrow veganism just kicks off we have lakhs of vegans at that point there will be a huge market in which they can make money right these millionaires these people who are investors they don't necessarily care about animals or ethics you or me or nothing about that for them how can i make more money if there is a new place on the market in which they can make money they want to now itself keep a footing there so in case it takes off they will be the first to again make more profits for example i can make people understand this you have to understand that in this capitalistic world with a capitalistic mindset everything has been commercialized even religion religious books religious songs religious clothing everything is based on money it's not for free even if you take something like politics there are people who create one channel which speaks from one political side another channel from another political side both will keep posting bad things about the other we'll go in the comment section and keep fighting with each other and they'll keep getting high trp ratings and they are making more money so be it religion or politics everything is being commercialized right now to just make a quick buck with that being the case do you need are we supposed to believe that these capitalists are not going to capitalize on the fact that tomorrow veganism may kick off so obviously if that too we are saying don't eat meat dairy and eggs and honey which means we are taking an entire genre of foods off the shelf in the market which means we have to replace because this is food if you take something away you have to replace that back with something else in the market so at that point is where these vegan alternatives come now there are many vegans who are these um small level uh, people who run these small companies with their own money they take loans they do all of this in which they are trying to make these kind of curd from peanuts instead of milk they try to make using soya some this meat kind of things from coconut they make ice cream they make this kind of products now with that happening there are again these rich investors looking at these products and they are constantly reading about how the market is fluctuating they are like okay it would not hurt us to invest right now a few million dollars here for them few million dollars is peanuts it's nothing for them to invest a few million dollars in this business so tomorrow suppose if veganism picks off i will again be number 
this because I am the biggest shareholder here. That is why people like Bill Gates, you're aware, are, are investing heavily into vegan companies. Now, some um, newspaper agency will put out an article saying that Bill Gates is now investing money into this. People will take it out of context. Ah, look, rich Western entrepreneur wants to put in money in this Indian business, and this Indian business is against the dairy industry. Therefore, the rich Westerner wants to destroy Indian dairy business. You understand how the thinking comes from? The market is merely working the way it's always worked. Rich people are always constantly investing their money in something or the other in hopes that they'll make a profit tomorrow. That's how normally the market works. It's happening in the case of veganism as well. But since we are now directly competing for what already exists, and these products that exist are also so close to people's culture, like ghee, milk, butter, even meat and fish, people think it's an attack against their culture, and a Westerner wants to ruin their culture. That is a complete conspiracy. That's a lie. I hope you guys can see logically why that doesn't make sense. The market is just moving the way it's always moved. So that's what's happening. For example, there are companies like Tata and ITC. They have nothing to do with veganism. They are still starting to put out vegan products. Why? Everyone's keeping their foot in the race. I'm telling you, man, if like tomorrow for some reason, and I hope it does happen, because of people like myself and many others, there are, by the way, I'm not the only vegan activist. There are many, by the way, even here seated among us. Because of us, if veganism explodes, like these companies will start making, at that point they can't be going into R&D and researching, okay, now everyone wants to buy vegan food, how do we make our vegan products ready? No, they're already keeping it ready on the market, already investing and waiting at the starting line to see if this takes off, we'll also go with it. So that's what's happening. There is no conspiracy, no one is trying to destroy Indian culture, and rich Western people are investing in this just like how they're investing in everything else in India. Anything where they can possibly make money tomorrow, they will invest, and that's what's happening. You got the picture I painted? Yeah. Anything else? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.